biggest mistake that you can make as a home seamstress who makes wedding dresses from scratch is to try and compete with a bridal shop. Let's face it, you can make dresses from scratch at home. It's very hard for you to compensate for your labor at a price that is competitive with a bridal shop. It just is. Um, you can do these custom made and people all the time, I used to do this, oh, I, of course I want it custom made. And yes, of course, I'm willing to pay for your talents. And then when I actually break down the pricing and my labor is the labor, um, they're kind of like, oh, and they're very polite and they don't say, but they and I both know, I could get that for a third of the price in a bridal shop. And it's true, it's very true. And sometimes they would go ahead and let me do their wedding dress. And it felt awkward, kind of messy. In the back of my head, there was just a little itchy thought, oh, I know they could just buy this for less. And it just seemed like the more work I put into that dress and the more care and beauty, trying to get it to fit just right and getting all the beadwork, the handwork, oh, that's when it really started to kind of hurt because I could not charge enough for my beadwork. And I love doing beadwork. It was a joy. I really love beadwork, but it, it just made the prices out of sight. And usually they were nice about it, but I could tell they were disappointed. Uh, disappointed that they were paying so much for a dress that they could go around the corner into a bridal shop and buy for a third of the price. It was kind of painful. Well, I have a solution to that. And I thoroughly enjoy my sewing career. I get to work with wedding dresses, but I'm not making them from scratch. Of course, I'm talking about bridal alterations. I have an ebook I've written that talks about my journey in bridal alterations and explains a lot about just the career. And the first chapter in that book is called Why? Why bridal alterations? Why does this work? Why do you get paid what you get paid? <laughs> Why would you try to sew a dress from scratch when you could get paid about the same price for hemming it? <laughs> and, and so there's a lot of why questions that are answered in this first chapter. I'd like to give that chapter to you free for my ebook. And I, my ebook is called The Most Important Dress a Woman Will Ever Wear. In this first chapter, which is free, I think you will enjoy it. I'd love if you would subscribe. I would love if you clicked a like. Thank you very much. That would be nice. I would also love if you would comment below and give me some of your feelings and feedback if you have ever, as a seamstress, sewn wedding dresses from scratch and how you felt about it. It's a very creative process and that part I found very rewarding, but I really felt like I was doing a bit of a dance on the pricing. It was always, I wanted to charge a fair price and when I did, I felt like a scoundrel <laughs> charging that when I knew they could buy it for less. It, it was really tough for me. And so if you've had any experiences like that, go ahead and share them in the comments below. And you can get this free first chapter. If you look in the description, there's a link underneath here. And get your free chapter one, why, from my ebook, The Most Important Dress a Woman Will Ever Wear. Thank you. Bye-bye.